Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, you will see how I transform this old frame to a really cute chic donut wall. I will also post my inspiration from Pinterest for this donut wall. So let's get started. So I have this picture frame that was given to me from a cousin. She gave me three of them. I just removed the like clear little plexiglass. And I'm also using a gel stain in the color of walnut. I picked up these little wooden dowels from Dollar Tree. And I have some wood glue, which I'm actually not going to use, and gloves. So for starters, I'm going to be removing the inside of the frame. It's not necessarily wood, it's not really cardboard. I'm not sure what it's called, um, but I'm removing that and then I'll place my frame aside so I can get this all stained and ready to go. So to prevent stain from going all over my counter, I'm just laying down just a really old towel. Um, also, I'm going to be taking off my ring, which I almost forgot to do. And I'm just gonna be placing some gloves on also because stain is really hard to remove. So I'm using a little rag that we just keep around the house and I'm going to go in the same um, right to left motion. I don't want to do like too much up and down right to left because you will see the lines with this stain. Now I'm using the dry side of the towel just to wipe off any excess of the stain. So while that dries, I went to my Silhouette Cameo 3 and I designed this little donuts sign and we'll be using adhesive vinyl and I'll have all that information in the description box below. So now that it's completely dry, I'll be using a ruler and just a small Sharpie to mark my little dots of where I'm going to be putting the holes. I did mine four and a half inches from the top and four and a half inches from each other. Once I have my dots where I want them, I'm going to just make sure that my donut sign will actually fit. So now the fun part, the drilling. So I started off with a small drill bit just to get the hole started, and then I switched it to a larger drill bit so my actual dowels will fit in the holes.
So before I put all the dowels in the donut wall, I want to transfer over my donut sign. I'll be using the Cricut transfer tape. I love this tape. It's really adhesive and it sticks really well. Also, don't forget to check the description box below. I have everything that I use listed and links as well. With the Cricut transfer paper, I like to stick it on a couple of things just to get some of the adhesive off because sometimes it can be a little too sticky. Once I have it cleaned off, I'll be adding it back to the frame and adding the dowel sticks to the holes that I created. I just kind of screw them in and make sure that they go all the way through. This is the final look without any decor on it. I think it'll be perfect for like a child's birthday, um, a wedding, anything like that. I think you're able to fit possibly two, maybe three donuts per dowel. So to have that more inspired feel from the Pinterest photo, I added my own greenery garland to the top. I just put a little bit of hot glue on each corner and a little bit in the middle to help make it stick. So before I add the donuts to this donut wall, I will be adding some doilies to each of these sticks so the donut is not directly on the paint. And if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my page. Thank you so much for watching.